Welcome back to the Bible Geek Squad, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for clicking on this video and continue our story, continue our, our journey in looking for a translation. And as you probably already saw the title, which is why you probably clicked on this video, it's to let you guys know, to reveal to you the translation that our church chose to go with. So I'm excited to reveal that to you guys. But before I do, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as I'm on this journey to getting uh, to a thousand subscribers and uh, once I get there there's gonna be a couple of giveaways including guys including uh, a mug like this check this out Bible Geek Squad ladies and gentlemen you guys form part of the Bible Geek Squad so as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers ladies and gentlemen there's gonna be a couple of giveaways like this and a couple of other cool things that I have in store for those of you guys so if you guys for sure want to participate uh, make sure that you share this video that you comment down below and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed guys consider subscribing I'm gonna go through the list of all the subscribers and once we get to that 1,000 mark I'm gonna be sending out a couple of these I'll let you guys know who took it who got one and you know stuff like that so if you guys like this ladies and gentlemen this is some of the merch uh, well not yet not officially yet but I'm working on that but for sure once we get to a thousand mark one of you guys or a couple of you guys are going to be getting uh, some of these. That's pretty cool, right? For your coffee, whatever you want to drink, cold coffee, hot coffee, whatever it is. Um, so let me reveal to you the Bible translation that we, the church, uh, decided to go with at Lifehouse Church, the church that I pastor. You know, many of you guys already know that we had been using the NLT, but sometimes too much simplicity can cause us to miss out on some of the important details that we really, really want to, to not miss out on. You know what I mean? And so for that reason, we decided to go with, drum roll, the CSB. Oh, yeah. We decided to go with the CSB, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I was going to go with the ESV or even the NIV for our church. But I'm using the ESV personally and the NIV. I, I've been enjoying these translations a lot. But I just felt, I really just felt that the CSB was the perfect balance uh, in between the ESV and the NIV. I thought that that just hit that sweet, sweet spot, you know, especially for new converts, for visitors, that's going to be the translation that we're going to be giving out to those that don't have a Bible, those that have never even read the Bible. It's going to be that CSB. It's, it's simple. I mean, there's a lot of things that I really, really love about the CSB. And so uh, that's the the reason why we, we chose that one because of its simplicity but at the same time it's not too it's not it hasn't been simplified enough to the point where we are going to miss important details and uh, because of that it is faithful to the original uh, manuscript it's as literal as it can be without clarity being sacrificed you know what I mean so I, I just felt that the CSB was a perfect balance, especially for those that maybe their reading level may not be that high or uh, they've never, ever read a Bible before. Maybe some people have read the King James and, you know, and so the CSB is just going to be like, poof, bring so much clarity, but at the same time, still be literal, uh, still be very faithful to the original uh, manuscripts. And so I just wanted to let you guys know we chose the CSB and... Uh, the Bible that, that, that I've been reading lately has been, or the edition has been this beautiful legacy note-taking Bible by the CSB. Uh, it's a beautiful Bible, ladies and gentlemen. It truly is. Look at that. Ah, it's, it's awesome, guys. This is a beautiful Bible. Um, CSB actually sent me this out to review, guys, which I'm going to give to you guys a more detailed Bible review on this Bible later on. But... As for right now, it's a beautiful brown genuine leather. You're going to see right there, CSB, Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible. This thing is amazing. It comes with this cool strap, which I really, really like because I've seen other journaling Bibles that, that come with a strap, but it's not like this. You know, it, it, it's long and you have to tie it and tie it and tie it and tie it. You know, I, that's annoying. This right here is actually that's it. That's it. Right there. Voila. 
right there. Very, very simple. This is an amazing. If you are a CSB fan or if you love journal Bibles, guys, I, I, I got to tell you, this is amazing. Now, this Bible right here is going to be the Bible that accompanies me on the pulpit. It accompanies me every day in my bag to work, which is where I'm at right now. We're in my office. Uh, it's going to go with me everywhere. This Bible right here. It, and I tell you why. I, I'll, t I'll give you some of the features of this beautiful Bible. One, I'm not too crazy about the yellowish paper, but it's okay. I can overlook that, you know, because the paper is thick. Like, it's awesome. It's lined to match. I don't know the GSM on this paper, but it's line match. There's hardly any any ghosty now a lot of you guys know that i'm a paper guy and i'm always into that you know like can i see ghosting is a transparency guys this thing is a tank i love this bible i can't stop talking about this bible to other people letting other people know this is this is amazing guys there's hardly any ghosting i I would venture to say that there's really no ghosting at all in this Bible. And I tell you because I wrote in this Bible, I underlined it, I highlighted it. I'm going to show you a little B-roll on what I'm talking about that you really don't see ghosting. You don't see any see-through. There is definitely no bleed-through. There's no see-through. There's definitely no bleed-through whatsoever. This thing was awesome. I preached from it uh, this past Sunday. And Wow, I was amazed. Literally, I was amazed when I first started writing in it. And I'm like, I flipped it over to check it out. And you guys can see it already because I'm showing it to you guys. But I mean, it, I'm like, wow, this thing is awesome. By far the best journaling Bible that I've seen. Now, I, I wish there were a couple of references in here. Yes, I, I wish that they would have included that. But it's fine because for that, I have other Bibles for that, you know. But for my daily carry, guys, this is awesome. It's lined match. It's got thick paper. Awesome. It's a tank. Yeah, the sm it's Smythe Zone, ladies and gentlemen. Smythe Zone. It's got gold uh, gilding right here, my friends. I mean, this Bible is a beauty. I believe this Bible is at a nine and a half point font, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's a nine point font, not nine and a half, nine point font, but it reads clear. Again, there is really no ghosting whatsoever. Uh, the print is elegant it's nice and bold especially when jesus speaks or the old testament is referenced in the new testament we already know that the csb does that which is even better guys so i mean i, I definitely do want to give you a more detailed uh, uh bible uh review on this bible because I'm, I'm just letting you know this thing is awesome i love it the leather on this i know it says it's genuine leather but I don't know. I mean, this thing is awesome. I, I can't stop saying that. It's edge line, guys, and the cover is really floppy. Look, look, look. And then voila, and then it comes back just like that. Like seriously, ladies and gentlemen, seriously, this thing, this thing is awesome. Now, one of the things I'm debating is I'm putting a, a, a gilding under the gold. I'm thinking our gilding. I'm thinking of putting black so it can match, you know, this uh, or, or a dark maroon. I, I don't know what color I'm going to go with, but I'm really, really excited about this Bible. And again, if you guys are looking for a journaling Bible, you cannot go wrong with this awesome CSB Legacy Note Taking Bible. This is definitely the one that you want to have. It only comes with two ribbons uh that's it and they're not even that thicker so i'm more than likely gonna replace these ribbons and add three ribbons three ribbons double-sided satin and uh yeah they might be three black ones i i don't know but uh, other than that guys other than just the ribbons this thing is a beauty and it's literally the perfect bible to take everywhere if you love journaling bibles if you love the csb and, and uh, you're on a break and you want to open it up and and just start writing guys it's not gonna bleed through guys this i mean i'm telling you there's hardly any ghosting whatsoever this is amazing 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 Oh my goodness. With that being said, thank you guys for checking out this video. Love you all. My Bible Geek Squad. Oh yeah. God bless you. Stay blessed. Be blessed. And bless others. Reflect the love of God to other people and His grace. All right. God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. And we're out.